Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead Candy Roth. Uh, a few things going on. Candy's birthday today. and Yes. Do you uh, remember the name of the hospital? What city were you born in? I was born in Middletown, New York at Horton Memorial Hospital. And that's like sort of upstate-ish. Yes, it's upstate-ish. Right, like a couple hours from the island. Give yes. or take Monticello. It's, if you're taking the New York State through the way, you get off at exit 16. And head north on 17 or west, and then you take that up to Middletown. And Monticello is about a half an hour further from there. Yeah, that's the place of my birth. No, well, that's not far from Rocking Horse, you know. Really? A rocking Horse, I think, is exit 18 off the throughway. Uh, well, it's a bit far. Yeah, well, you know, whatever. I'm just, I'm mm-hmm. trying to make a connection with you, Candy. Ah, uh, honey, we're connected. While you were running around in camp, I was probably the counselor. You, <laughs> it's not far off. Uh, and then you uh, spent how much of your life in uh, Middletown, in Monticello? Mm, well, Monticello, I lived in Monticello for my life until I was 18 years old. Then I went to college, and I never went, I mean, I went back to visit, but I never lived there again. And that was it. You were a big that star. That was it. I'm out. I'm out. Big out. star. Uh, Candy, uh, before, uh, like, uh, in, you know, earlier in the hour, be when we were not on the air, she started throwing dates at me like, listen, I'm not going to be here on your birthday, and we got to talk and about And apparently it. you're not going to be here on your birthday, so that worked out well. Right. So you're, let's we'll get to that in a second. You are not here uh, Friday, July 30th, because that is Tilly Day? Tilly Day. She's getting spayed. I'm not backing out this time. We're going through with it. Now, So I won't be here on that day, that Friday, or that Monday. What made you uh, finally well, do it? She has to get spayed. That's it. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And she's going to be nine months old in uh, July 17th. So it's time. All right. So she's going, and that's all there is to it. I'll just have to brace myself. I took a four-day weekend. I think I'll be recovered by the time I come back home. You'll be fine. You will be fine. And and good vibes that it's on my birthday, Candy. So Exactly. I feel much better this go-round. And then I hit you with the fact that I'll be off that week again. Right. Uh, July 26th uh, through the 30th, that whole week, um, for a few reasons. Uh, part of it vacation. Part of it uh, business. It, it, there's a couple of... Uh, radio events I need to go to that week as well. What? Yeah, well, it's a, there's the kickoff of a couple of different tours and different things that are going on. So, But we are taking a vacation. The whole family is going to get away. But one of the things that I brought up was the fact that um, as the kids get older, now I'm going to have two kids in middle school. Yes. It is so hard to take kids out of school, so you yeah, got to really, plan. You can't. You got to plan, and then you get strapped into those dates, and it's very difficult because everybody has the same issues you do, or at least people with children, mm-hmm. and it's tough. It's tough for you. Yeah. You know when it'll be good? When you're celebrating like a birthday like mine, when your kids are out of the house and they're successful and they're doing great, and then you don't have to worry about anything. Agreed. And I think uh, with that said, I'm probably after the fest, you know, the fest is Saturday and Sunday, August 28th and 29th. Uh, The week after the fest, sometime in that first week of September, I will probably take a final summer vacation because you better make a plan for the Monday of the September 27th so you have a day off after the wedding on September 26th. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, the wedding. The ba- If this was a I don't sign... Like your attitude. Don't bring that negative energy to my son's wedding. Oh, heck no. If this no. was a, if this was a Seinfeld episode, it would be a three-parter. Don't you bring that <laughs> negative energy anywhere near me. Have you seen the wedding episodes? All three parts? Listen here. Mm-hmm. And uh, so, yeah, I've got to take time obviously around the end of that month so it kind of messed me up for the summer mm. which I'll figure out probably take some time in August as well yeah we'll uh, we'll figure that all out but yeah once school starts I mean that's it the ki- you know very very few chances to get away until uh, the Christmas season candy the yes, holiday we'll season a few days around then too yeah absolutely uh oh here's another thing I meant to uh, uh impart to you when I, uh, Leah and I were at uh, Barbecue Tom's house for part of 4th of July, uh, he and uh, wife of Barbecue Tom were telling me stories about how they're starting to get noticed 
uh, around town by their friends, Candy. Uh, some of them have come up to them and said, let me ask you a question. I listened to uh, My Country 96.1, and from all the, the conversations I hear, I, I, I don't mean to... Are you Barbecue Tom? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what they say. I don't mean to pry, but... making him a star. That's, that's right. nice. So he's, uh, you know, he's big into, obviously, the cooking and the barbecuing. I said, I said, listen, you got to make a line of sauces called Barbecue Tom. Let's go. Hey, he might as well ride the wave, right? Make it happen. Make it happen. Uh, his wife, though, I mean, she's a woman, uh, you know. Listen. Who get, gets around. She's the one that's got all... All the really talent. He will you admit. You want to speak. And I'm talking for you, too. I mean, she's done a, a lot of stuff. She's a very interesting woman. He will admit. So I, I have no problem saying this. Uh, Carrie runs the household. She is the queen of the castle, Candy. No doubt. That's wonderful. I'm she, very happy. She is. Uh, she, she is. She's unbelievable. Yes, she is a. Uh, she's a principal. She's very. Yes. She's got a lot going on. There's she no doubt. She really does. I really love that. Mm-hmm. They they make a they make a, a good team. And listen, most of all, they know how to take care of the fathead family, Candy, which is very well, important. Well, that's all that matters. Very very important. Unbelievable, yes. you are. They're they're wonderful. Really, you're unbelievable. <laughs> did he make ribs on the Fourth of July? No. Of course he did. Kebabs, kebabs. Oh, we had. kebabs. Well. Yeah. Uh, today is National Freezer Pop Day today. Oh, when we were kids, didn't we love that? Yes, those push-up pops, those, uh, those icy pops. I used to make them sometimes out of orange juice, apple juice. Sure. Love that. Sure, I've had orange juice, uh, pops as well. Mm-hmm. And today, I mean, as if we needed any more connection between your birthday and my family, today is National Chocolate with Almonds Day, Candy. <laughs> Isn't that nice? I love it. I love your family. I'm waiting for the formal invitation to adopt me, but I haven't gotten it yet. Maybe my father will send you some Hershey's with almonds as we like to have me and him. That we would share. be lovely. That would be absolutely lovely. I'm going to leave you with a couple of really nice stories. Check this out. An animal shelter in England adopted a Labrador retriever, Birdie. Do you know Birdie then paid it forward by taking care of seven orphaned kittens? I saw a video of this. It's too cute. Unbelievable. Amazing. A 17-year-old in Alabama, Kieran, recently joined the Air Force, had to cut his afro. He'd been growing it for six years. Not only did he donate the hair to a charity that makes wigs for kids with cancer, but he turned the event into a huge event, and he raised forty grand for St. Jude Children's Hospital. Kid. I love that. That's a wonderful story. Beautiful. See, taking something negative like having to cut off all your hair and making it completely positive. Yes, and there is a video of a guy uh, going viral in, uh, I'm not sure where it happened, but there was a guy in a wheelchair leaving a pub in Ireland, and it was raining. One of the bartenders got a big umbrella and walked the man home, all the way home, under the umbrella, Candy. Oh, so lovely. Lovely story. There's good in this world, Candy. There is, there is. All right, I want you to have the best birthday. Thank you. I want you to keep track of who... Does oh, what? You don't have to tell me that. It's running in my mind as we speak. All right, we're going to predict. Who's going to call first, Evan or Casey? I'm gonna, I might say Casey. He gets up early. Okay. You know, he called me yesterday, made no mention of my birthday. So if he forgets, we're going to have a little situation. No, he's not going to I do that, too. If I, if I speak to one of my parents the day before their birthday or anniversary, I don't mention it because you have to call on the day, Candy. You're absolutely right. Uh, what about Brian? Does he have anything special planned? Um, I'm sure he does, if he knows what's good for him, but <laughs> I don't know what that is yet. All right. Uh, take notes. Keep track. We shall discuss tomorrow, along with Tropical Storm Elsa, which is bearing down on us. It is. It is. Well, you have a good day. Fold the laundry. Yes. Let Dana, run the machinery. Mm-hmm. We and, will. Uh, and that's it. We'll meet again here tomorrow. You'll be here, right? I will be here. Me too. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country, 96.1.